Welcome back to Valheim. Uh, this uh, video covers days 92 to 95 and um, let's get to it. So this is uh, day 92 and um, I'm running out of storage so I might have to uh, create another storage chest here. Carrying a bit too much food, so I split or moved some of it into the storage for now. Uh, turnips have uh, grown, so I've got more turnip seeds. I will need those later. I need a lot of turnips because that's where we get the spice rack from. I discovered in the uh, last episode. So I'll plant more turnips with the seeds. Nice neat rows. And uh, pick up the ones that are grown. See, I need uh, quite a lot of stuff still. Carrots are my limiting factor at the moment. I'm just gathering all the materials that I would need for the spice rack. I need two carrots, see, which I don't have. I'm checking all the cupboards, but I can't see any cupboards. What am I like? The uh, chests. There are no carrots to be seen. And sadly, none of them are grown, really. Most of this day was spent around the garden or um, just around the house really, just um, doing some crafting, storing items, um, basically preparing for uh, improvements. Also repairing. Quite a chill day really. Also did a little bit of hunting. I'll finally plant some carrots because I need those soon. Also, uh, Filled the torches up for hunting. All work in the garden, of course. And that was pretty much it for the day. Hey, I made some wood arrows for more hunting, obviously.
home to the bees for a while. There's almost three honeycombs in most of those hives. Bit of cooking. Getting quite smoky in here. I'm still checking the carrots, but none of them are grown, obviously. I only just planted them today. So let's get rid of some of these birch trees because um, we seem to be getting a lot of um, grey dwarfs and greylings around at the moment. They're really getting quite quite close to the house and uh, a bit annoying. They're supposed to be afraid of the torches but it uh, doesn't seem to work all the time. is drawing to a close. I see another one. Missed. Got another time. And repair stuff basically and then uh, I'll sit for the night for the day. So here we are and it's day 93 I believe. And look, look at them invading my property. I don't want to attack them yet because I might damage my uh, the hives and whatnot. I have to chase them to the right side. Annoying little buggers. There's another one as well. And carrot seeds. Plant more where I can. They're not optimally placed, but it'll have to do. Thought I heard another grayling. Get rid of some of these trees. I think they're the cause of the graylings spawning in my inside my uh, my uh, property. They also get in the way as well. Cut them back a bit. Get a bit of wood. The sapling trees. Growing everywhere. I'll leave those. Bit more hunting. And finally, I extend the garden. I don't have enough room for all these carrots and whatnot, so I need to uh, level the ground, mine it down a bit, and level it. Thank you. 
leveling the ground. I didn't mean to do that. I didn't expect that to destroy that torch, but never mind. I'll try to get, create a bit of a path. Although that's not really doing much because that's water there. I was hoping it would uh, like get rid of the water, but maybe I could raise the grain level or something. Do that another time. And I had to cultivate the uh, land up clear. So I can plant. Thankfully it didn't destroy the uh, carrots and whatnot. Also looks a bit nicer. Seventeen more carrots. I've got plenty of room now. done for the day. Quite an early night. Oh, I've got a dream. I don't know what the dreams mean. Day 94. So I'm off now to um, basically a little bit of swamp exploration because I uh, wanted to get some progress. I wanted to check the crypts out actually, the um, sunken crypts, which I've only just peeked inside before because of the blobs inside there. So I've got time. And thankfully the swamp is fairly quiet. On entry anyway. Although I don't like that noise. There's only one skeleton I think. Came to annoy me. Quick work of him. And here we go into the sunken crypt. Look at the blobs here. Nasty. I can't really fight them in here. I need to back off. And I pop a potion because uh, that poison is really quite nasty. And wait till I regen a bit until the poison disappears. Whilst I keep watch in case anything else wants to come and creep up on top of me. It's time to go back in. That's one blood done. And there's the other one. Still very cautious, but I think that's this entranceway cleared, more or less. Oh, I can hear some all sorts of uh, drawer and stuff in. I'm 
very cautious because I don't want to get trapped. This looks like it's blocked. I don't know where things are coming from. And that way it looks blocked as well. So I'm left with this route. But it seems we've got to go for a swim, which uh, I don't want to risk. I don't know where that goes. If I die in here, it'd be a complete nightmare trying to get a corpse corpse run from uh, deep in the swamps. So I need to be very cautious. Uh, I don't know what to do with this, but uh, I'll find out shortly that you can mine it. To get some iron, scrap iron. Sounds really useful. A withered bone, which I don't know what to do with yet. Never seen one of those before. I don't know what happens when I break this open, so I'm being very cautious. I'm checking all the other routes. That's enough for today. I decide I don't want to risk it getting to dark outside, so I'm going to leave plenty of time to get back out. Especially if I have to do lots of fighting to get out of the swamp. But thankfully it was clear. So I run back through the portal. Or try to anyway. Because I'm carrying scrap iron, I can't, so I store it in this chest. Four scrap iron. So back through the portal. Still plenty of daylight left. garden still haven't grown anymore. Later on they, uh, they do grow. I'm trying to work out what I can do with this withered bone. Doesn't seem like I can make anything from that. I might need it for something later. Looking through, I can't spot anything. Later on, it's getting dark, but uh, I get rid of this stone that's been in the way. This big rock's been in the way for a long time, it's annoying me, so I mine it out. Took a while, but eventually I got rid of it. I'll repair the pickaxe. all the stone, or oh, most of it anyway. Oh, I'm going to stack it inside one of these.
And that's it for the day. Okay, the next day, which is day 95. Look, see? Bloody grey, grey dwarves here now. I don't know why they're hanging about my uh, property for. They're really annoying. Just have had a quick patrol in the morning to check there aren't any more of them. Those trees have come back again. Damn. Um, later on I uh, build another beehive or two because uh, well clear some inventory space oh, why not good source of honey and finally the carrots have uh, completed some of them at least I think I've got enough equipment now to make the spice rack, which is quite exciting. I just need some more mushrooms, which are inside, I believe. go. Here's me trying to put the spice rack up, not knowing you have to hang it off of a ceiling rack rather than uh, on the floor or off a wall. So it takes me a little bit of time trying to work that out. I'm a bit, confu bit confused at the time. A spice rack. Look at that, cauldron level two, and I can make sausages. Finally, and turnip stew. The sausages are real, real good in innovation. And I finally have a use for those entrails. Considering it's taken me 95 days to get here. Quite a long time. Also used for the thistles, which uh, I haven't had a use for before. I hear a grayling. And where they are. Definitely hear one. I'm thinking I need boar, cooked boar meat, but I actually need uh, raw boar meat to make sausages. So I have to go hunt boar now. A little bit annoying. Just store the stuff back here. So off to it.
I spotted one of my rafts just sitting there next to the swamp. That was done from a very long time ago when I scouted the swamp out. I'm surprised it's still, still there really with all the storms and stuff. I've never seen before. It's a two star boar. I've never seen this two star one before. I only have a one star. I don't know what that means. Those rocks need to go soon as well. More carrots are growing. I've seen some pop up just as I was looking at them there as well. Lots of carrots now, which is perfect timing. Some inventory management, and now I now I'm trying to build. Uh, sorry, cook some sausages. Oh, I got the blood bugs out. I don't need those. I've seemed to have made a mistake here. I was cooking the boar meat by mistake. I thought that would cook the neck. But those are sausages. Amazing. Pretty high health food. And good uh, HP ticks. 3 HP a second. So those are coming very handy. Uh, I've still got 24 entrails left. Space again. I don't need those blood, blood bags, but I'll uh, store them again somewhere. I've got one one left over. Checking the torches as it's getting darker. And uh, using up some wood because I've got loads of wood hanging about. Picking up the odd carrot that's uh, grown big enough. And clearing out this one that's always here. This guy always spawns in that spot for some strange reason. Found another boar nearby. Which means I can make another four sausages. Which I do. Beautiful. some less coal for later use.
and store some of the sausages. I hear another grayling wandering onto my property again. Unfortunately, I just damaged the uh, cartography uh, table there. I don't know how they're getting in. I think I need uh, another torch. Stop them wandering in. Uh. And that's it for the day. I hope you enjoyed that uh, episode of Valheim. I made quite a lot of progress today, getting the spice rack and finally getting access to sausages. And here we are. It's the start of day 96.